everyone i'm going to show you how you can turn this old ice bucket into a treasure stay tuned here we are the magic fairy has helped me transform this old ice bucket into a special sewing kit as you can see um, this uh, bucket has completely been restored and upcycled uh, by covering it with a little bit of uh, fabric and some embellishments, we made it into a real treasure. Now, as you can see, I have used a beautiful damask uh, creamy colored fabric to cover it. And um, I've used some beautiful uh, braid trim to clean up all the edges and then added this beautiful um, fuzzy uh, tassel trim on the bottom but what's so special about this is we've added a little bit of um, whimsy to it by adding this um, figure of um, this pretty lady who's sewing and if you look closely you'll see that she actually has a real needle and thread um, that's been uh, glued right into the to the image for a little bit of fun um, I printed out on fabric um, image of some um, a measuring tape and uh, I've added that in a little cluster here um, for a little again a little bit of fun and whimsy and a little banner that says uh, needles and pins with a little vintage uh, safety pin here and here we have a little cluster of these beautiful again um, satin um, flowers and uh, I made a flower out of the same fabric to coordinate uh, with the sewing kit. And I've added a few little doodads, um, um, a little uh, spool, a little uh, scissors, some nice buttons to add to the uh, to the theme of the um, of the project. Um, now let's look inside. Oh, before we look inside, I'll show you the little dangle. I've added this pretty lace, and then again we have uh, a little bobbin and a little thimble and um, again a little bit of a little spool of thread here now these have all been um, uh, distressed a little to make them look a little shabby uh, and the top of the lid actually the the um, the handle actually moves up and down and the top of the lid I've actually uh, reused the same lid but um, added this flower some beautiful uh, wedding dress appliques to it uh, let's see if we can get a little closer on that and um, just to give it a little bit of prettiness there the underside I transformed into a um, uh, pin cushion so there's lots of room to add needles and pins as you can see I've added some here to to demonstrate the the cushion and the lid comes off and inside I've made a, um, a needle book uh, again, in the coordinating fabrics and colors, uh, tied off with this little uh, little lace. And uh, here we have an actual needle again and a little banner that says a stitch in time saves nine. Um, inside, uh, a few little sewing images. I made this little pocket with a button. And then, of course, the center page includes your needles. And another little pretty page with a, an applique and a special mother of pearl button. And then I've added this little bow just tied off again in this uh, uh, fabric uh, measuring tape. Again, another needle with a little, uh, a little pinch of lace there um, on the corner. So there you have your, uh, your needle book, which is included inside. And then um, I've added these little um, clothes pegs. Again, I've uh, distressed them to make them look a little, uh, a little battered, a little uh, shabby, and I've included uh, a couple of samples of uh, of lace, um, which uh, um, are tied off with these cute little uh, safety pins, and then we have um, a little pair of scissors, a little cover for the scissors. Again, done in the same fabric. And you can see that the uh, the scissors just slide right in and can be stored away nicely. And then I had this tiny little box which was which was really cute to store some spare buttons. And I've just recovered it again with the fabric, some trim, um, some pretty uh, little buttons and a little flower. And that says buttons. And inside you can see, whoops, uh, we have some spare buttons uh, 
in, uh, in in the vintage uh, vintage style. I think there's a mother of pearl in there as well. So you can store some little vintage buttons um, or uh, buttons uh, to go when you need need one for some quick repairs. And um, I've included again a little measuring tape inside and some thread and a little sack with a little uh, uh, needle threader and that goes inside we tuck it all away now inside you'll see they have it has pockets I've, I've completely lined it with this uh, beautiful um, it's almost like a, a, a denim a light denim fabric but uh, it's sturdy and I've added some pockets to the uh, the sewed piece that goes inside and these pockets will hold all your uh, little doodads that you need for your sewing kit. Now this would make a really pretty gift for um, a new bride, a shower gift. Um, also because I've noticed that uh, the young ladies today, um, they don't know how to sew and the last thing they think about is um, having a sewing kit when they get married. Um, or for anyone who just wants to have it just for the uh, the sheer fun of it um, but they do it it does serve a function as well it's not just because it's pretty but it has a function as well so again you can keep all kinds of uh, supplies inside and uh, tuck everything away in there you put the lid back on and there you are you have an ice bucket that's been turned into a beautiful treasure for years to come. So um, I had a lot of fun making this. Uh, you never know how it's actually going to look until you're completely done, but I'm just thrilled with it. I think it's it's uh, it's really whimsical and uh, lots of fun to make. So again, don't discard items um, that you think are uh, ready for the trash. You can, uh, you can jazz it up and make it into something really special. So give that a try. Thanks for watching, ladies. I hope you liked it, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.